I'm back, the market is making another push towards 7700. Not, I mean, still uh, some distance away from that, but uh, uh, at this point in time, it's back to the high point of the day. A couple of metal names have done well, but the stock that's carrying the market now is Infosys. For the last two days, that was the problem stock, but today we have seen Infosys make a big move. Uh, as you can see now trading at high point of the day. Well, we're discussing the logistics sector because the DIPP has allowed 100% FDI in e-commerce marketplaces. Yogesh Dhingra, CFO and COO of Blue Dart now joins in. Mr. Dhingra, good morning. First, if you could tell us how much e-commerce contributes to your revenues and your bottom line right now. Well, you see, in terms of our uh, top line uh, over the last uh, few years, you know, it has significantly grown and today, I would say it's close to about 25% of our top line. And uh, the way the economy is growing, it's going to go further up. Okay. So currently, e-commerce business is around 25% of your top line. Uh, Mr. Dhingra, can you just tell us what kind of margins as well as what kind of profit margins you might be making from the e-commerce business as opposed to the other regular business? <coughs> Well, you see, if you analyze our uh, profitability over the last uh, five, six years, you will see that we are making an EBIT margin, which is in double digit. So coming in both from uh, B2B and uh, B2C e-com business. So both are profitable. I mean, uh, certainly B2C is more challenging in terms of uh, fulfilling the requirements. And at the same time, yes, it gives you a little better uh, share of margin. Okay. So... Uh uh, are you in conversation with any of the big players like uh, Alibaba, uh, AliExpress, you know, the, the, the big ones, or eBay? Well, you see, majority of the players are using us, uh, even though they may have their own in-house logistics, mm -hmm. but in order to serve the entire country, they need uh, an outsourcing good uh, service provider as well. So we are uh, in dialogue or dealing with the uh, majority of the uh, top players. Okay. So how would, according to you, a 100% FDI in the marketplace model of e-commerce help you? You see, if it's going to help uh, more, uh, you know, orders, certainly you need uh, to deliver them, you need to provide uh, e-fulfillment service. So it is good for the uh, logistic uh, service providers. Okay. Any more? Uh, when you talk about e-commerce currently being 25% of your business, how much do you expect it to possibly become in terms of a revenue share, say in the next one year as well as in the next two years? I think one year is uh, too short a time to, uh, but, you know, uh, as I said, you know, if let's say one goes back uh, three, four years, mm. it used to be in single digit. So single digit has moved to 25% in, let's say, a uh, span of three to four years. You know, accordingly, one can expect a similar kind of job. All right, uh, Mr. Thingra, point taken. Thanks a lot uh, for your time today. So that's Blue Dart uh, uh, clearly welcoming the move. Uh, but uh, the market is now at high point of the day. So before we end the show, let's...